Hey there guys, today is day 25 of the Avian Advent Calendar Challenge. Now the Avian Advent Calendar is an advent calendar of parrot toy parts. So every single day I'm going to be opening up a brand new box, showing you guys what is inside and coming up with a brand new toy or form of enrichment to give your companion parrot. So if that's something you guys are interested in seeing, you want to make sure to stick around because that's going to be coming up right after this. <music> Guys, this is Jack over at High Red Bird, where I am tirelessly working to find new ways to make the keeping of exotic animals and pets more exciting, more affordable, and ultimately more enjoyable. Part of how I have done that this season is with the Avian Advent Calendar Challenge. Now, the Avian Advent Calendar is a product put together by the Leather Elves. I'll have a link to them in the description down below, but it is an advent calendar of parrot toy parts. So every single day, I'm going to be opening up a brand new box, showing you guys what is inside, and coming up with a brand new parrot toy to build using those toy parts. Now, if you guys have followed along through this entire series, uh, first of all, I do want to thank you guys so much for watching these videos. Uh, if you're watching them later on, uh, still, thank you for watching those videos. But if you're watching this video the day it comes out, Merry Christmas as well, since this is the last day of the avian advent calendar this is also the last video in this series now there's a couple of things you should be able to get from this series whether or not you are working with the avian advent calendar if you got the avian advent calendar this will hopefully give you some ideas for the kind of things that you are going to be make using those toy parts if you didn't get the avian advent calendar challenge some of these toy parts are going to be very common, very readily available, so they'll give you ideas for those if you have those toy parts on hand. Some of them might be things that you don't use regularly or have never even used to make toys for your parrots. And if that's the case, that'll hopefully give you ideas for those toy parts as well. That'll increase the variety of the enrichment offerings you have available for your bird. So I certainly so hope that will help you guys out. Now, I am gonna be showing you guys some of the tools and things that I'm using to build my parrot toys. Having the right tools for parrot toy making is very, very important. So I will have links to the items I am using in the description section down below. Um, I encourage you guys to check those out if you don't already have good parrot toy making tools because they really do make all the difference in the world. Uh, if it's easier to make your toys, if it's more enjoyable to make your toys, you're gonna be more likely to make your toys, which means your bird is gonna benefit from getting more toys. So definitely wanna check that out. Now this video is also gonna cover things like uh, thinking about safety, thinking about how to maintain your toys, thinking about what the goals are behind your toys. Uh, if you want to encourage foraging, mental stimulation, physical activity. If you have a plan in place for your toys, you're gonna to have a lot more success. So I do wanna thank you guys so, so much for watching the series. And with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into the toy we are going to be building today. All right, guys. So for day 25 of the Avian Advent Calendar Challenge, we have, uh, we have some little star beads. Those are gonna be some really cute beads. Uh, and of course we have our box, we have our shredded paper. Now what I want to do today is one of my favorite things to do. And it is a, I don't wanna say lazy, let's say it's an efficient way to provide really fun enrichment for your birds on a uh, semi-regular basis. So we obviously have the box from today. I'm gonna to go ahead and set that aside. We are going to be using the boxes that we have from previous days as well. Because one thing I like to do with my birds, um, we like to play the game, Godzilla destroys the city. So I will give them things that they can knock over and destroy. So in this instance, I can, you know, maybe build like a little Christmas tree. Now there are some things you wanna think about. You wanna make sure that you're doing this in a way that is safe. You don't wanna build this so high, so towering that if it falls on your bird, it could be potentially hazardous. 
uh, if I am doing something like this for an umbrella cockatoo. Yeah, maybe I'll go this to six. Yeah, that's six boxes. Maybe I'd go one level higher to go up to 10. But if I'm doing it for like a green cheek conure, three is gonna be a good amount. Now, these boxes are going to have some shredded paper in them. And of course, I do have even more shredded paper. So I can definitely pack those boxes a little bit more. And I can also use food items in the boxes. Now I don't have to do food items in all of the boxes. I don't have to do food items in any of the boxes to make it interesting to my birds. But if you would like to give them a little bit more of a challenge, in a situation like this, you can give them, uh, you know, you can drop in some dried fruit, um, some bird safe nuts that we're going to have in there. Uh, we can also do things like, uh, I can do an individual bead. Maybe I want my bird to interact with this just as a foot toy. I'll just drop a single bead in there. And when the bird gets to that, that's gonna be really, really nice. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna build up a little Christmas tree, but what we need at the top of our Christmas tree um, we're going to need a star. So this is gonna be really easy with the box. I'm just gonna go ahead, open up the box, flatten the box, pay attention to where the front of your box is, and I'm just gonna punch a hole. Now I can go ahead, put the box back together. Um, it's not gonna take that much work, but using one of my <laughs> scraps of leather strips, which um, I'm going to be honest, I am very, very happy that I was able to use my leather strips, my paper rope, my all the cordage that I got conservatively enough that I would still have a little bit left for today. Um, and I mean, I do, I have, I have, you know, here's one more tiny little piece. And here is technically a piece that we made a foot toy out of using the paper rope, but I could use that if it came down to it. But just like I've shown you on so many days, we're going to go ahead, tie a knot. I'm going to thread that through the front of this box. And then we are just going to attach the star that could be at the front of our tree. Now, if you guys were even better with your leather strips than I was, uh, maybe you have even more pieces of leather strips. Maybe you wanna do stars all around the top of your tree. Um, I am gonna go ahead, I'm gonna trim that. That is just a little bit long. If you have a, you know, if you have a little bit of leather, that's fine. Um, you just wanna make sure that it's not so much there's a risk that your bird could potentially entangle themselves. But now that I have a tree at the top of my star, I can go ahead and fill that back in. And I want that to have, uh, I want the star one to be really exciting. So I'm gonna do a few pieces of that dried parrot uh, treat mix. So then I go ahead and I pull that out. And I have built a destructible Christmas tree. Again, make sure you're paying attention to your individual bird. You want this to be safe, but this is a pretty big enrichment offering that you can put together really, really quickly. And I think one of the most important things when it comes to this series, I think you guys will have seen that some of the toys take a little bit more work. They take a little bit more effort. Some of them really don't take any effort at all. And I think that's the important part, finding a balance, finding a way that you can offer things for your animal that isn't a terrible drain on you. Because if you're having to work that hard every single day, it just makes it really, really challenging. And one thing that I have learned as a professional animal caretaker is not every single day has to be a challenge. There are some things that you have to do. There is work that you have to do but you can usually find ways to make some days a little bit easier, the scheduling of some days, the giving of enrichment items. Certain enrichment items make some days a little bit easier. So the day that you set this up is going to be an easy day. I'm gonna be honest, the day after you set this up with all of the shredded paper that is in all of these boxes everywhere, 
may not be an easier day. So that's the sort of thing you want to think about as well when you're giving your enrichment. Even if it's an easy item to give that day, it may not be the easiest thing to clean up the next day. But you want to make sure that you're able to do that because we want to make sure that we're providing the best quality of life, the best opportunities for our birds. So I certainly hope that the Avian Advent Calendar Challenge has given you guys some ideas, some inspiration, and some things to think about when it comes to providing enrichment for your birds in a way that is safe, that is interactive, that is uh, just a lot of fun for you and your bird. So if you like this video, you wanna make sure you give it a thumbs up. You wanna subscribe to the Hi Redbird YouTube channel if you haven't already. I do want to thank you guys once again for watching the entire Avian Advent Calendar Challenge series, and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. I do need to say thank you to my Patreon patrons for helping to make these videos possible. You can find out more by visiting Hi Red Bird on Patreon or clicking the link in the description section down below if you would like more information. Thanks! Mm -hmm.